welcome to another video from Chorley Photographic Society. Very excited to be here in Will's uh, office today using Will's uh, laptop and also using Will's new state-of-the-art camera. As you can see, uh, it's a beautiful piece of equipment, full frame, uh, mirrorless as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, I digress, so we'll move on. <clears throat> what we're going to talk about today is... Um, a little bit of cutting out. We've done a, a video on cutting out previously, um, but we're going to do a, a little bit of very basic um, layer masks. Okay. Again, it's going to be a light-hearted um, sort of video, and uh, we're just going to use one of uh, one of Will's images, and we're going to deface one of Will's images, one of his excellent sports images. Um, so let's get straight into it. If you don't know about layer masks, this is a great place to start. I'm not a, an expert of layer masks. Some of our members are. I'm not, but um, I certainly know the basics, so we'll get straight into it. Okay, so on screen here, you will see that um, I've decided to deface one of Will's sports images, one of his, um, one of his motorbike motocross images. Um, but what we're going to do, we're going to liven it up a little bit, and we're going to actually place a um, stock image of a gold chain, all right? And I thought it was quite apt that we put a, a big dollar gold chain on this uh, motorcyclist. I think it looked pretty cool, so that's what we're gonna do. I will say, um, now however, if you do enter competitions at Chorley Photographic Society, uh, our rules really is that you've gotta use your own images, whether that's um, bringing another image, um, bringing another item from one of your images into another image that you use, uh, like a montage or something like that, but you've got to use your own images anyway. Serious stuff aside. But going back to the editing, what we're going to do is, um, as per one of my previous um, videos cutting out, we're going to use the layer, uh, the quick selection tool on the left hand side. There are shortcuts to bring this tool up, but I'm not going to tell you those today. Uh, I just want you to find this tool for yourself. So it's on the left hand side. And what that does is um, it brings up a plus, a minus uh, symbol at the top, as you can see, uh, and also brings up a little circle, and that's your area. Uh, you can decrease it or you can increase it. It's almost like a brush, okay? What we're going to do is put a medium brush size there using the brackets, and then we're just going to very, very simply draw around, very quickly draw around uh, this necklace. I'm not going to call it a gold necklace because it looks quite cheap to me. This is a stock image from Google, okay? And we're just going to paint this um, necklace with the quick selection tool. And almost immediately, the quick selection tool has decided that um, I want the whole white V in the top of the picture um, selected. I don't want that, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the and choose the minus symbol. Okay, and what that's going to do is detract or take away that selection. Okay, not too fussed about this looking absolutely perfect because it's just for illustration. We're just practicing. This is how I started off just messing about and practicing with stock images. Okay, now as we, as I'm using a Mac, I am just pinching the trackpad, moving it in. Okay, so there's some white areas there that I want to remove, so I'm going to choose the minus, the, detra uh, the subtract, and I'm just going to paint these out. Very simple. There we go, I'll paint those out. One, two, three, four. Just have a quick look around the image, make sure everything's selected where I want it to be and there is a little bit there of yeah so once I'm happy with that I'm going to right click and I'm going to select the select and mask option which is going to bring up a nice panel and it's quite a um, when you're doing animals and and things like that it's quite a nice tool set this it's quite a nice window to uh, to use because you've got, as I've said in a, a previous video, you've got uh, some nice um, presets, okay? I usually put the contrast up to around about six or seven percent. 
I also like to feather my image to a couple of pixels. And I'm also bringing, introduce the edges to around about three or 4%, 6%, whatever your preference is for smoothing those edges out. And I'm also gonna shift my um, edge to make sure that I've got everything selected, everything in. So I usually do it to around about seven or eight percent, okay? Once I'm happy with that, I want this selection on a new mask, sorry, a new layer, should I say, okay? So I'm gonna select new layer, output to new layer. I'm gonna click okay. As I said, not the best cutout I've ever done, but for illustration, it's perfect. And what I'm gonna do there now is use the move tool and I'm gonna drag just the necklace onto the motorcycle image. Okay, so there it is. I'm going to um, transform the image by pressing Control or Command T, which is the shortcut. Okay, I'm gonna tilt that image slightly because the rider's tilted. And if you go to the edge of the box, as you can see, uh, you get a, a bent arrow shape and I'm gonna tilt that. And I want the little bit more tilt. You'll see why in a minute. And I want the, yeah, the necklace just to go underneath the crash helmet. Okay. There we go, happy with that, looks fine. However, there are some things wrong with this placement, okay? Doesn't not look natural, okay? We want the, um, the necklace uh, under the handlebars and we also want the necklace um, under the crash helmet. So, how do we do that? How do we melt that or phase that out, okay? Uh, and we use something down here, it's quite a powerful tool, um, and it's called layer masks, okay? And it's at the bottom side of your panel there, underneath your image. It looks a bit like the Japanese flag symbol, okay? So if you get stuck, you can't remember what your layer mask looks like, just remember the Japanese flag symbol. And you click it, make sure your background copy is highlighted, which is the necklace in this case. Click your layer mask, and it brings up another box, okay, which will highlight automatically. Um, and we're using then a brush tool, okay? So we're gonna select brush tool there on the left-hand side. And then um, we need to use two prime colors, white and black, okay? And what that does, and I always get it confused, um, I'm always confused by this, I always get it wrong. Um, I think black paints out your image and white reintroduces your image. And when I mean image, I mean the top selection, the necklace, okay? So, the black is selected, the brush is selected. I'm gonna go up here um, and I'm gonna use a hard brush, okay? So I'm gonna slide the hard, um, slide it to the 100%, the hardness, okay? And um, should be fine. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the, the image. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna to start to paint away because the black is selected. I'm gonna paint away that necklace, okay? Now I've painted away a little bit too much. So it's very easy. You select the white down there, you swap the colors, and I'm just gonna reintroduce that necklace or that, um, that layer into, it's a bit like um, tracing paper underneath. You're peeling back that tracing paper. Okay, I've gone a little bit over. So all I'm gonna do is I am going to reduce my brush size and I'm just going to paint that necklace away from the rider's crash helmet. Okay, there we go. Happy with that. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm just gonna paint paint the crash helmet away, or paint the necklace away, so we can see the rider's crash helmet. So we're happy with that. And then I'm gonna, it's a bit of an awkward position, this one, and I'm going to paint the necklace back in, following the line of the crash helmet. 
quite happy with that again. Okay, so there we go. Now the next thing that needs to be done is, um, doesn't look, I know it doesn't look natural because it's a, a stock image of a cheap plastic chain, but um, what we want to do is we want this chain to go behind the uh, handlebars and the brake cables. So, just gonna reduce the size of the brush. Um, I'm going to choose black. Uh, I'm just gonna paint that away. I'm gonna do the same with the blue handlebar here. Just paint that away. Don't worry if you go over and you start seeing the rider's uh, jersey as I've, I've done. Just reintroduce the white and follow the line best you can of the handlebar and paint the gold chain back in. And there you have it. You put a gold chain, a cheap gold chain on a rider, happy days. As I said, quite a light-hearted video. Very easy to follow. Uh, layer masks are a very, very simple technique. Uh, practice with stock images. Uh, practice on your own images or your friends' images. Put some funny things in, put some hats on. It's a great way to learn. That was a very, very simple uh, way to uh, introduce layer masks into your images, into, photo, into your Photoshop workflow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.